Hi everyone, my name is Karen, this is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you my TBR Takedown 3.0 TBR. So TBR Takedown is a readathon that is hosted by Shannon over at The Leaning Light. I will leave a link to her channel and her announcement video down below for you guys to check out. This readathon starts at midnight on January 4th and goes through till 11:59 p.m. on January 10th. So it is a week-long readathon. So I just wanted to share with you guys the books that I'm hoping to pick up during the readathon. Unfortunately, the 4th of January is actually my first day back at work, which is quite depressing. Um, so I'm not sure how much reading I'll be able to get done during that week, but it does go over the weekend as well, so I'll be able to get a bit more reading done then. And my um, work colleague who I share an office with um, is actually away for this week of the 4th, so um, we generally go out together at lunch, but as she's away I'll probably be able to do a lot of reading on my lunch breaks if I don't have anything that I need to get done, so I could possibly get a bit of reading done this week. Um, so there are seven challenges for this readathon, so I'm just going to go through the challenges and show you what books I have picked out to meet those challenges. So the first challenge is to read a book from your most recent book haul. I have picked out volume two of the Morning Glories graphic novel. This is from my most recent book haul that I posted, which was my November um, book haul. Um, I'm also using this to complete challenge seven, which is to read a non-novel item. So you could use um, a book of poetry or short stories or just anything like that. And I will be using this graphic novel to meet um, both of those two challenges. The next book that I have on my TBR is Drain You by M. Beth Bloom. I'm using this to meet three of the challenges. Um, the second challenge, which is to read a book which has been on your um, shelf for over a year or the longest book. This is the oldest book that I have on my TBR. I got this in a book outlet order. I believe it, um, I got, I ordered it just at the start of January and it came in February, but this is the oldest book. Um, set of books that I have is from that order that are on my TBR shelf. I'm also using it for challenge three, which is to read a book which is outside of your comfort zone. I'm not 100% sure what this book is about. Um, I believe it's about a girl who meets a boy and it's a kind of a romance story, but it's a paranormal romance story. And I believe from the title, Drain You, that it may have to do with vampires and teenage vampire stories I used to really love, but they are a bit more out of my comfort zone now. I haven't read a teenage paranormal romance to do with vampires that I have enjoyed in quite a long time. I actually read Vampire Kisses um, not too long ago and I really didn't enjoy it. So um, I am considering this to be a little outside of my comfort zone. I am also using this for challenge six, which is to read a fire colored book. I didn't know that there were even lucky colors, but um, fire colors are apparently the lucky colors for um 2016 that's like reds oranges purples colors like that this has got red on it it's got also got a red spine so i am using this to meet that challenge as well challenge four is to read a first book in a series for that i have picked banished by sophie littlefield this is the first book in what is a duology Again, I'm not 100% sure what it's about. I believe it's about a girl who discovers that she has powers that she didn't know about. And I believe that she can heal and even, like, bring back the dead. Um, that's all I really know about it. Um, I'm excited to check out and see what it is. Um, but, yeah, I've picked this to read the first book in a series. And the final challenge is to complete a series or to read a sequel in a series. So for that, I'm picking up... Unforsaken by um, Sophie Littlefield. This is the sequel to Banish, which I just showed, and this is the um, completion of the duology. Um, so yeah, I'd be really excited to get through these two books and start off January with completing a series. That would be really awesome. So these are the three books and the graphic novel that I'm hoping to get through during TBR Takedown. I would like to actually get through a bit more than this, but these complete all the challenges um, and I'm not sure what else I'll get to pick up if I do even have time to pick anything else up. So I may pick up 
um, something else, I don't know, but I will include that in my wrap up, which I will be doing for TBR Takedown 3.0. So this is a really awesome, fun readathon. Shannon is really relaxed and the rules are not strict. It's just really like a chilled readathon. So if you're interested in participating, I would definitely recommend it. I had so much fun with TBR Takedown 2.0. It was the first ever um, readathon that I participated in and I cannot wait to um, participate in this one as well. So um, definitely check out channels. Um, sorry, Shannon's um, channel down below and her announcement video. Um, please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye, guys.